Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In my previous video, I discussed the delta modulation and its two drawbacks, two quantization errors that it uh, faces. Uh, these are caused due to the fixed step size that we use in delta modulation. But this adaptive delta modulation overcomes these uh, two drawbacks of delta modulation. So here I will tell you uh, the basic concept of adaptive delta modulation and what was these two errors and how it is used how this adaptive delta modulation corrects these errors how it overcomes these errors okay so actually what happens in delta modulation uh, before uh, starting the adaptive delta modulation let me explain you the basic of delta modulation what happened in delta modulation and why we needed this adaptive delta modulation what was the problem and and what is the solution that we have uh, found uh, using this adaptive delta modulation okay so this was the uh, waveform of uh, delta modulation uh, as we have discussed it in previous uh, video i suggest you to watch my two previous videos uh, so that you can get the concept in a better way okay so in this uh, delta modulation what happens this is the analog waveform in blue and uh, we want to convert this into digital signal and this is the digital uh, sequence uh, binary sequence in the output so what we do here uh, we approximate this analog waveform with this staircase like waveform in uh, pink okay and what is the concept behind doing this how we are doing this uh, observe one important thing here that in it is the delta modulation not adaptive delta modulations waveform okay in this delta modulation observe here that uh, we have uh, we have cut this uh, waveform into samples this these uh, vertical uh, black lines and these are the sampled parts from here to here and between these two black lines this um, between these two vertical black lines the blue part okay these are the sampled value of the analog signal and these are the approximated values these uh, uh, flat uh, or horizontal lines in pink are the approximated value of this part that like uh, this part has been approximated by this line this part has been approximated by this line this part has been approximated by this pink line so how it takes place the rule is actually uh, let me explain you the basic rule uh, uh, don't think that i'm wasting your time uh, because this uh, exact rule will be followed there uh, but we will vary the step size so uh, keep uh, your attention here so whenever suppose i take uh, this part from here to here this blue part okay and uh, this sample this sample from here to here and uh, if this value is more than the last approximated value the last approximated value for this was this so we compare this last approximated value for this sample the last approximated value was this so if this sampled value is more than this last approximated value then we increase this by one delta one step size okay uh, observe here that here the this is the sampled value and its last approximated value is this so this last approximated value is here more here it was lesser so this is lower than this its last approximated value so we decrement this step uh, this, this decrement this staircase by one delta so in this case uh, if it is rising continuously then every time uh, the last approximated value would be smaller than the uh, than the sampled value of this signal so we keep on increasing it with delta whenever it is rising and whenever it is decreasing then we keep on decreasing it with delta because the last approximated value would always be higher than the next sampled value so we will decrease it with one delta but here the quantization error is more uh, two types of quantization error are observed uh, one is the slope overload distortion and another one is the idle noise so what do they mean so observe here this is the main problem of delta modulation that's why we use the adaptive delta modulation it is called adaptive delta modulation because in adaptive delta modulation we vary we do not have a fixed step size like delta modulation we adapt the size of this uh, uh, step size according to the uh, changes in the input signal if the signal is rising very fast steep 
then we increase the step size and if the uh, signal has constant value or varying very at very low rate then uh, we decrease the size of the step so that's why it is known as adapted adaptive delta modulation okay delta modulation with some adaptation according to the variations in the input signal so here these two uh, are two problems that are the, these are the drawbacks of delta modulation these are here you observe that uh, green slope overload distortion is observed when there is a steep change sharp lar large dynamic variations in the input signal so here this uh, red part in red check is the slope overload distortion and here in green check is the granular noise idle noise it is it's another name is idle noise so this is observed when when you observe here there is no variations in the input signal it is almost constant so here we observe it granular noise in this case so these are the two drawbacks of delta modulation observe here that here it is having sharp variation sharp uh, increment or uh, sharp rise high rate rise so this fixed size step size uh, cannot approximate it properly okay and here so here we have this error this part is error this is checked part is error and again here this fixed step size so this fixed step size is smaller than the variations uh, in large variations so we cannot approximate it so we need to increase the step size in this case so in slope overload distortion to overcome uh, in delta uh, adaptive delta modulation we increase the size of the step when large variations are there in input signal while here observe that uh, it has here it, it for it uh, the step size is more so it again has some noise quantization noise so we in this case of when we use adaptive delta modulation we decrement we decrease the size of this step okay to reduce this error granular noise so let's now see the adaptive delta modulations waveform and understand its basic principle here is the waveform of adaptive delta modulation now observe here that here the step size is not constant when it is here it is small and when it is rising this uh, pink line this uh, pink waveform analog waveform is rising then its step size keeps on increasing and when it is uh, going down then its step size is going down step size is reducing so the here observe here it is reducing so this this is reducing the quantization noise okay there is no slope overload distortion we observe slope overload distortion at this place at high uh, when uh, the rise rate was high and we observed granular noise in delta modulation at this place when the rate was small or it was constant almost so it adapts itself according to the rise or uh, uh, constant value in the input signal it increases the size here of the step and here it decreases the size so that this gap so this it can uh, properly approximate this analog signal and we can get better digital uh, signal from this uh, analog signal because in uh, modulation delta modulation and adapted delta modulation these are the they are converting this analog signal into digital signal so this is the output so what happens here here observe the same concept concept will apply here that i have explained you in delta modulation recently so observe uh, for example the sample from uh, here these are the samples sample from here to here this is the sampled value in this pink part and this is the last approximated value so here uh, so let me uh, explain you with an example so observe here this is the sampled value from here to here these are the samples this uh, these vertical lines are cutting it into samples so observe this sampled value from here to here okay between these two lines the part of pink the pink part from here to here so this line this is the sampled signal value and the last approximated value is this blue line so this value sampled value is more than the last approximated waveform staircase waveform then we increase the size of the step here it has been increased observe so as we increase it as the, as it is rising so the every time we see that uh, the value of the sampled value is more than the last approximated value then we increase the size of this step 
we have increased this step size okay and when we see that uh, there is a decrement the last approximated value is higher observe here that here the last approximated value is this and the sample value is this one so it is this approximated value is higher so we decrease the size of the step this step size is more and here it i have reduced it so it keeps on reducing observe because every time the last sample value is higher here it was last sample value was lower than the input signals okay input signal sample value so we decrease it here it has been decreased so, so the quantization noise is reduced in adaptive delta modulation so here whenever we increase the step size okay so then we transmit one so here observe here we have increased we are increasing the step size here we are increasing step size so it is uh, we are transmitting one and here again we are increasing the step size we transmit one and here again we are increasing the step size and transmit one but uh, in this case the step size is reduced because the this this uh, for this sampled value the last approximated value is higher so we decrease the step size and transmit zero so on increasing the step size we transmit one and while we decrease the step size we transmit zero so in this part we are transmitting one and when it starts decreasing we are transmitting zero but at this place observe here we have transmitted one because the step size has reduced at this place okay so we have transmitted one so this is the basic concept in this way we are converting this analog signal into this digital output okay so this is just the approximation of this uh, analog signal in pink okay so hope you like the video and watch my other videos also on delta modulation and the problems that we face in uh, uh, in delta modulation the slope overload distortion and uh, the granular noise these are the quantization errors of uh, uh, observed in delta modulation and we use adaptive delta modulation so it is necessary to understand uh, these two things uh, two videos also uh, why we used adaptive delta modulation okay because this is the advanced version of delta modulation it has adapted adapted itself uh, for the variations in the input signal and has varied the step size while it was fixed in case of delta modulation so watch my other two videos also and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy so that you can get the latest notifications uh, as soon as i publish them so thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye